Hey everybody, this is Dark Zale 56 and welcome back to more Earthbound. Um, uh, you may be wondering why I'm here in the hotel while well, I was just getting some money out of the ATM that we need. And um, we're going to make a phone call. We're going to call our mom. Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? And, um, you don't have to do this, but uh, you can do pick-up right away. And, um, she'll be back in a minute. Or not. What is this? Familiar music. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Still sounds really suggestive. Well, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. And back into the sky. But anyways, after you call the Escargo Express, walk around a little bit. Talk to Mr. T. I saw some weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gave me the creeps. And he comes right in the middle of our conversation with Mr. T. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? Of course we can. And basically, he can store um, your stuff. We're going to store um, the town map. And we're going to store the exit mouse, because we really don't need it right now. Yep. Okay. So yeah, pretty useful for storing items that you uh, don't need at the moment. Uh, you can go into the cycle shop. Talk to this guy. This is the cycle shop puncture. Uh, bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot. It's a lot faster than walking. It'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want to? Do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We don't have rentals. Do you want to rent one? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle. Uh, so of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a teddy bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike in the cave. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of rules that doesn't really make this bike a lot of fun, but you can still use it. And if you don't touch anything, it'll ride by itself, but you can change its direction. Occasionally it'll ring the bell. But really it's just for show. You, you're not going to be able to use this once you get more party members, so you can only use it now when uh, you're alone with Ness. So that takes all the fun of having a bike around. It's not really that useful anyway. But I just wanted to show that. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Yeah, so those guys are the Runaway Five. Pretty cool dudes, actually. They'll be important later on as well. No spoilers. Okay, here in Berglund Park, it's basically a shopping center. Um, but one guy you're gonna really want to talk to is this guy. Hey, man, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creativity. Come on, buy some of my junk. So what would you like, man? We got, a uh, defense spray, rust promoter, travel charm, copper bracelet, broken spray can, broken iron. If you didn't know about the travel charm in, uh, near Giant Step, uh, and you want to pick this up, um, go ahead. Um, it's pretty, uh, useful. You definitely want the copper bracelet. Um, just make sure you have enough. It's 349. And we gain an extra 5 defense. And go ahead and sell the cheap bracelet. You're not going to really need it. That's about it. Okay, so with that taken care of, um, now you're going to want to make sure that um, you have full health and possibly full PP. Um, now go ahead to towards this guy on the roof. Wahahaha! Why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? Ever dread attack? Um, that's right. Um, this guy is um kind of crazy. He is a boss. Um, 
He uses a biting attack for some reason, which I, I find really funny. And he does loads of damage, so watch out for that. Uh, by all means, you can uh, go ahead and use PSI Rock, and I know I really overdo it, but um, it, it works great here. He can be a little tough because his moves do a, uh, his attacks do a lot of damage, but other than that, he should be fine. Oh, and by the way, I leveled up off screen. <laughs> yeah, just so you know. Yes, I remember Dread, boss of Burglin Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Well, it seems that everyone's talking about Paula around here. One of my favorite enemies here is the New Age Retro Hippie. That's right. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. Uh, did you see that, um, little side box with, um, all, uh, it said, um, he used the ruler, but he couldn't measure things out, or something like that. Nessa's level is now 13. Offense went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. Maximum PP went up by 1. Not a very good level up, but... We leveled up. Um, let's see, what do we have here? We might as well use the pizza. Oh, wow, we maxed out. And let's go to Polestar. Oh, here. It's a school. As we got all these little kids here. Whistle, whistle, anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. So this must uh, be where Paula goes to school. So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet you, you can only decide can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. Hey, we're Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. He will save the world. Let me go, go, Paul. All right, we're in some girl's dreams. Sweet. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Okay, so. Okay, so I was like saying like. These parents don't even know where their own daughter is. How crazy is that? It must be their room, and this must be Paul's room. I'm gonna check this. It's a teddy bear. And yes, it follows you around. I'll explain about it later. So, yeah, let's just go down, I guess. And get out of here. And um, one other important thing we might want to do here is go talk to these guys. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit of embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm, basi I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in peaceful rest of Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're acting willing? You're actually willing to help my, uh, finance the project? Answer no. I guess I was just too hopeful. Oh, well, never mind. You see, you really want to talk to Apple Kid. Believe it or not, he'll be of more help than Orange Kid. Trust me. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? And give him any food item. We'll just give him a cookie. Thanks, you seem very nice. Um, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Say yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Trust me, you want to do this. Thank you, I won't let you down. What's he got in here? Nestor around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There is a broken machine inside. 
I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. It's a receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Yeah. Okay, but... Okay, I won that battle, and as I was saying, we have one more thing we gotta do in here in Tucson to get out of the way. Well, there's this too. Um, go, just, um... Okay, um, basically you just wanna talk to her. Welcome to Mock Pizza. We don't sell pizza here, we only deliver. Let me give you your number so you can place an order sometime. The best pizza is Mock Pizza. The number is... Pss, 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 pss. You got that? Okay, so now you can call Mock Pizza and they'll deliver pizza to you. Head to the bus station. That's right, I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long. Take it easy, chubs. You don't have a town map? You didn't borrow one from the one at the library? This town's bus system is a little strange. Be sure to check the bus stop signs. I wonder who came up with this system. Pretty much. Looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. There it is. Yep, this is the bus to three, but I'm not sure if we can get get there or not. There's a fare of two dollars. Do you want to go? Let's give it a shot. I have a feeling this could get ugly, though. And I love this song. Um, there's gonna be a present around here that we need to get later. That you can see to the right. Sorry about that. And, whoa, what's this? Ghosts? More ghosts. Okay, what happened? For some reason, the bus returned to Tucson. Yep, just like I thought. Okay, I'm starting to get the creeps. So we're going back to the bus station. Do you want to get off here? I was gonna say yes, but I forgot. Uh, darn. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Cutting this out. Okay, we're back. That's pretty much, um... Everything new that we haven't cut it covered, uh, everything new that we have to cover here in Tucson. Um, so yeah, I, I think we can call it uh, a video there. Okay then, uh, this is Zayos56 signing out.